within this process, uh, just trying to get better as a, as a group against a very quality uh, opponent. Thought our guys, I was more impressed, well, like I tell them, I was more impressed with defense. Um, I thought we, we got to a point where we really dug in on the defensive end of the floor. And then the, the, the dessert of it is uh, being able to shoot the ball the way we, we shot it. But um, I'm always excited about that. But at the end of the day, you know, I'm always talking to our guys about defense. But good win, excited, told the guys to enjoy it and then move on with the process. And at the same time, get ready to cheer on uh, football uh, here later on in a little bit. So, thank you. 15 threes for you guys today. Did you think that, that you guys could have some success shooting from outside against this team? Um, yes, in a sense of the way they play, in a sense of a pack line defense wanted to keep everything out of the paint. I uh, thought it was going to be a great opportunity to at least get the shots up. Um, and my thing to our guys is always, if you're opening on balance, then I feel good about it. And whether they're going in or not, I care more about was it a good or a bad shot. So this was one of those games where we felt like spacing was going to be critical. Uh, and at the same time, trying to get to the paint, but not through the paint, getting there, getting under control, drawing two or three guys and then kicking it back out to the perimeter for looks. Alan, how is, how's Lieberman doing? You you seem to be uh, on him quite a bit this year at, at different times. And you know you yanked him. I don't think he got back into the game after you yanked him, unless he, maybe at the end of the tail end he did. But kind of in your doghouse right now. What, what is his problem? Uh, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say he's, he's in my doghouse. Um, I mean, it's just, it's just a level of uh, expectation, but that's for each and every kid on the team. You know, um, everybody has a, in a sense, role uh, to play. Uh, and actually, to be honest with you, I thought he had a terrific first half. Um, I just thought we were a little careless, um, and it was something that we addressed at halftime. And I thought we came out and were still a little careless. And yes, I, you know, I, I, I yanked them real quick. But the best part about this group is. You know, it was an opportunity for Cody Kelly to get on the floor, and I thought he played a terrific second half. So it wasn't really anything he didn't do. I just thought Cody, um, you know, took advantage of an opportunity and steadied the ship. Would you want to see more consistency out of Jeremy? Um, well, uh, again, I, I, would, I wouldn't necessarily say consistency. Like I said, I thought he had a terrific first half. Uh, and I think it's a, it's a nice one-two punch with uh, him and uh, Cody Kelly. And then the caveat of being able to play Justin James at that point guard spot at times. So I wouldn't say he's in a doghouse or I'm not happy or unhappy with his play. I just think we, we have uh, a deep enough bench to where I have to get a feel for what's working well. And I just thought Cody was working well in the second half. Coach, did you talk about Hayden Dalton's effectiveness on both sides of the court tonight? Um, well, again, I mean, I, I think when you look at Hayden Dalton and uh, Al Hearn, especially when both of them are playing together, they just bring a different dynamic to the game, um, especially with their skill set and ability to shoot the basketball. Uh, and at the same time, even though they're thin kids, you know, they're, they're scrappy in the sense of guarding sometimes guys that are 20, 30 pounds heavier than them and still being effective. Um, but I thought Hayden played a, a, a really good game tonight. And he's actually been playing well all year. The only difference is the shots wasn't going in and they went in tonight. Um, but, you know, like I said, I, I've never addressed uh, guys missing shots. I address whether they're good or bad. That's it. You guys have built up a double digit lead in the first half and then uh, you know, they switched to a zone and you guys started turning the ball over uh, and mm -hmm. They, they took the lead and you guys ended up going tied at halftime. You know, what what kind of did those two things do to you guys? The, the, the zone and the turnovers, how much one, was one a cause of the other? Well, um, I thought, I mean, like, I, I, to be honest with you, I actually get excited if, if a team wants to play zone. What I what I thought happened to our guys was I thought we, we got passive uh, when the zone uh, was thrown at us. And, you know, they were getting in passing lanes and we were more concerned about um, uh, making a pass rather than being assertive in a sense of being ready to shoot the basketball, attacking the gaps, or showing your shot fake or showing a pass fake. And yet we were just trying to play around the perimeter versus still having that attack mentality, getting into the paint, letting them collapse, and then finding guys. And I thought as 
they stayed in it, and even more so in the second half, it was a better feel on that part. We got the ball moving, and then we made some open shots, and then, you know, eventually they had to come out of it. You guys get back to that.